As the wife of a corrections officer, I view my husband as a hero. He is a part of a God-ordained honorable profession. I realize that I only get a glimpse of the things my hero lets me in on, but there are conclusions that can be drawn from studying him and being willing to be close. So it's with this understanding and these fractional insights and inferences that we express our gratitude and appreciation to all of you from our heart and also seek to encourage other spouses, family, and friends to make the worthwhile investment of supporting and encouraging the heroes in our lives as we should. We see you only because you allow us to, and we count it a privilege as you take the risk of exposing a glimpse of your heart. We see you serving and protecting faithfully, without applause or understanding. The longer and more closely we study you, the deeper our respect and admiration. We see you rush to an alarm, only to find a setup, being ambushed and attacked when you arrive. We see you delivering necessities through the chuck hole, only to be cursed and assaulted. We see you respond quickly to save the life of an inmate from actions of his own creation, only to be mocked and scorned by him later. We see you make your rounds and then call for assistance when before your eyes you find that inmate suicide. We see you shunning internal fear as duty calls, fueling necessary actions for the current demand. We see how hard it is for you to settle down on your days off amidst the memory of negativity that has gripped your mind. We see you lead by example, aspiring the highest road, investing in those on your team, warning them of the dangers of compromise. We see you handle the mentally ill in a place unequipped with dignity and respect while ensuring care, custody, and control. We see you look in the mirror at the scar on your neck, reminding you of the past and poising alertness for the next time. We see you recovering from injuries sustained when the inmate jumped you, enduring the loneliness and battling discouragement as you complete physical therapy all alone after the surgery. We see you with honor, and the longer we experience life, the more grateful we are and the deeper our compassion for you penetrates. We see you tire of the perversity, longing for all in uniform to behave differently from the incarcerated. We see you train so you can run to the fight and have the strength and endurance to take care of business when you get there. We see you processing the events you've absorbed from the day, saying you're okay, aware that you aren't, lacking any other way to respond. We see you fully capable of sparkling and laughter, your face lined with intensity, eyes hard and focused, controlled and concentrated on the matters at hand. We see you on the front line where you've been for days, weeks, months, years, so mentally worn as incidents, pressures, and demands accumulate. We see you keep the pain of your experiences bottled up inside, staring off at nothing, turning to anything for a brief relief. We see you on your tour of duty in the corrections environment, facing it all, providing security for the public. We see you so exhausted physically, mentally, and emotionally, in desperate need of rest and rejuvenation with insufficient time to refuel. It may seem no one notices, it may seem no one cares, it may seem no one appreciates your efforts. It may seem no one thinks of you with honor and respect, but we do. Thank you for your service. You'll find support materials available. 